Okay, so this is part three of the dolphin logo. Um, we've drawn a path and adjusted the points and then filled it with color. And now, in order to see the template again, to add the details, we need to either change the opacity of the layer with the dolphin outline on it, or we can just hide it. Um, I think that's actually easier just to hide it. I click on that eyeball for the layer. Um, what is it called? Okay, it just says toggles visibility so that you can go into view mode or not view mode. View mode, not view mode. So now if I turn off the eyeball, I can go back to my details layer and start drawing the details within the dolphin, like the smile and the eye and the blowhole. <laughs> Um, some details on the tail and fins. So I'm going to start with the mouth and again grab my pen tool. Start here and draw this. Let's see, there's a, a curve there and a curve here, and then it comes around. This part's tricky. See, I think it's a small curve and then a point there, and then it comes back around like this. This is the center of this curve down here, and then click here. And for this one, as you can see, it's starting to fill my path with gray. Um, for this part, you don't need a fill, so I can go back. See, I'm going to grab my selection tool, select the path, and then up in the control panel you can see the colors that are being used right now. So for the fill swatch, I'm going to actually go to no fill. And then also for the inner strokes, they were saying in the book that they're using a stroke of one instead of two, like a thinner stroke than the outer line. So we'll just drop it down to one. And let's see, we've got the, the bottom part of the mouth here, and let's see, I'm going to move that anchor point over a little bit, like so, use my arrow keys to bring it up, this one bring it down. Um, there's the blowhole here, Oops. and an eyebrow, okay, what I just did was I forgot to deselect that path before starting to draw the eyebrow, so you can see that it connects because it thinks it's the same path, so control Z that and then go up to your selection tool to say like you're finished with that path. Then click away anywhere on the artboard and then go back to your pen tool. Then you can start a separate path. And same here, now that I'm done with that path, I need to click away for it to finish. Go back to my pen tool, click again, Click the middle of the curve, click again, go back to the, the selection tool to, to finish the path, get the pen tool again, click, click and pull, click, and back to the direct selection tool. Let's see, for the eye, since it's an ellipse, we could actually grab one of our shape tools here. Um, if if I, if I hold down on the rectangle tool, then you, I can see that there's a lot of other shapes underneath. So I want to grab the ellipse tool and try to create the same shape that the eye has there. And I can always adjust each point individually to fit the eye. Use my arrow keys to move it right or left, up or down. 